I run a company called January Freelancing. Next month, I will celebrate a year of being my own boss. And if you'd have asked me a year ago, I'd have said you were completely mad. I was inspired to start the business because I couldn't find a job that was flexible enough and was interesting enough of what I really wanted to do. I was finding nobody was willing to look at part-time roles for me. So I'd worked a full day week for a long time, pre-pandemic, no issues. Um, and suddenly I was finding when I was applying for jobs, as soon as you said four days a week, it was a non-negotiable. I've had some great jobs. I've had some not so great jobs, I think like most of us. Um, and I've done a number of sort of career pivots um, along, along the way. I've been in corporate business and I've worked in the charity sector and I've worked in um, local authorities and stuff. I have never experienced such an amazing supportive network as the small business community in this area and that I, I truly have made over the last year some phenomenal connections who have helped me personally and professionally. I mean across the board, men and women, but particularly from sort of other female entrepreneurs and other female small business owners. Um, I've only experienced great collaboration, um, loads of support and yeah, just I feel like I've really found my tribe. One of my proudest achievements is being able to navigate and kind of um, learn to deal with my mental health issues. When I had a really bad go with my depression um, about 15 years ago, maybe a bit more, I was told I'd never work again because I was so ill um, and I'm now running my own business. And so that's really something that I'm really quite proud of. Every day is, it's a little bit of a pinch me that I am a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur. I think it's also really important that people see that you can be successful and still experience anxiety, depression and all of those things. I'm hopefully able to inspire other people to say you can do it um, and it's never too late and it doesn't matter. If you want to have a go it's definitely worth giving it a shot. Things like mentoring and role, uh, you know, role modelling is really important because if you see somebody, you know, we all see, saw this with like the lionesses when you were going for the football, um, or you know, in, in people who I've had to do with, there's a lady called Dame Stephanie Shirley. She's an entrepreneur and philanthropist. She's into her 90s now, um, but she was one of those very first ones in the tech space. She called herself Steve because it was, you know, not being Stephanie. She was not. Um, and just she never gave up the idea that she could be whatever she wanted to be. The women that uh, um, inspire me the most are those that support and celebrate others. Um, I find my inspiration on sort of everyday people, the people I interact with. Some of my um, girl support network are absolutely fantastic and if I asked them they wouldn't see that they did anything specifically or that they were worthy of inspiration. Anybody who is willing to give someone a chance and to help them feel more comfortable with themselves or to um, develop a new skill set. Um, and I think there's something really inspiring about some of the volunteers, particularly we've got some wonderful volunteers in the village of Lambourne. Those are the women who really inspire me. It's not all about those who are making millions, it's about the people who are getting up every day, running their businesses and doing something that they're passionate about. I think it's more important that people are encouraged to, to, to follow a path that's right for them um, and that to know that they have the opportunity and it's within their grasp to do whatever they want. Um, for some people that might not be being a leader, it might not be an entrepreneur, but I'm, I think it's really important that people know that they have those options and they can make a choice. You don't necessarily have to have just one career. You can keep changing. Um, I've definitely had a squiggly career. Um, I've changed directions, I've done, and I'm still learning. There are some say, sayings like, feel the fear and do it anyway, which really resonates with me. Um, and I also think you have to be really true for yourself and think about if there was no boundaries, if there was no societal expectations, what could I achieve? And that's how I think we can go for um, and give people more encouragement, girls and also those from other, you know, um, sort of less 
in careers that are, are less likely for women or for people from ethnic minorities or whatever it is, um, to know that you can be whatever you want to be um, if you want it bad enough and you work hard enough. Check out my website, which is www.janawayfreelancing.co.uk. I'm on all of the social medias. Um, I'm quite active, particularly on LinkedIn. And I'd be really delighted to speak to anybody, particularly who is thinking about starting a, a journey like this, um, or who wants to just explore making change less scary, because that's what I'm really passionate about, that we can all do lots of things. Sometimes you just have to have the courage to do it. And if I can inspire a person to do something like that, I would be absolutely delighted. So I'd be really happy for people to get in touch with me.